Hello, friends. Welcome back. Today, we're going to do the sum of all primes. A prime number is a whole number greater than one with exactly two divisors, one and itself. For example, two is a prime number because it is only divisible by one and two. In contrast, four is not a prime number because it is divisible by one, two, and four. So we want to rewrite some prime so it returns the sum of all prime numbers that are less than or equal to the number. So remember to use this read, search, ask. And so, um, yeah, this one, I've done this one a few times, so I'm just going to, first off, we want to have a function that says whether or not a number is prime. So we're going to call it function is prime. And in there, we're going to ha hand in a, an indiv like a single, single number. Um, so yeah, well, we want the uh, counter, we're going to set something, we're going to set a uh, counter to be equal to, um, let's say two. Because we can't do one because every num number is divisible by one. And then we want to say uh, while the counter counter is less than or equal to the single number, we're going to, well, first off, we should make sure to iterate the counter because otherwise we'll have an infinite loop. So we're going to go counter plus equals one. And then um, uh, if the a uh, single number divided by the counter is equal to zero, then we want to return false. Because the number is evenly divisible by the counter, and the counter is, and therefore it is not, oh, we don't want this to be equal to, we want it to be just less than, because the counter would at cert some point become the single number, and then that would always return a uh, false. And so if we go all the way from um, two, all the way up to the single number minus one, and we don't find an evenly divisible, then we can return true because it is a prime number. Okay, awesome. So now we have a number. Um, one way that I can check this is I could console.log and I could say is prime. Let's say is two prime. True. Is three prime. Should be true. Counter is not C O U N T U N T E R. There we go. Three is prime. Is four prime? False. Five? True. Six? False. Cool. So our is prime function is working. Let's uh, set, we're going to make this the result, and then the sum of primes, and then we can console.log the result. What I'm doing here is just uh, running the result of us calling this function on the number 10. So right now it's just returning 10, which is uh, incorrect. So what do we do here? Well, we want to have, a, we're gonna do it very similar to the way that we did here. Here we wanna say, again, we're gonna have a counter, which is equal to, um, well, I guess first off we should just say, protect against this case. Like um, if the number is less than or equal to uh, sum of all primes is less than or equal to uh, one, we should just return false. Uh, I'm not even sure if this is necessary, but the idea is that if somebody passes in like negative 10, we just want to return like, or at least like not uh, numbers lower than zero don't work here. Right, numbers lower than zero don't work here. So negative 10 wouldn't work. And so um, that's just a, a side case. I don't even know if this is required on this, but I'm going to put it in anyways. Um, let's see here. So now we'll, what do we want to do? Um, we we, we want to have a counter which uh, iterates up, right? So a counter is equal to 2. Uh, we can let the counter equal 2. And then also we're trying to get a sum. So we'll let the sum equal 0. And then let's return the sum, because that's actually what we're going to want to do. So, um, I mean, we could just do another while loop, right? While the counter is less than the number, we want to, first off, counter plus equals one. I always try to iterate the index of a while loop immediately, otherwise you get in these crazy infinite loops and it causes your computer to act strangely. But, uh, so we're iterating up. So now um, we can say if the counter is uh, um, no okay so if the number if num modulo the counter is equal to zero then we know it's 
even, right? Wait a second, I'm just doing the same thing. The sum of primes. Oh no, if the, okay, sorry. If the, um, uh, the counter is prime, so I could say if counter, if is prime counter, so that's like if the counter is prime, then we want the sum to plus equal, we want to add the counter to the sum. Okay, so now we're getting something, right? Um, oh yeah, sum of primes of 10 should turn to be 17. And if we do 977, the result should be seven. Okay, so I've got something wrong here. This isn't quite right. If we run the test, these two will pass and this one will fail. So what's going on? Um, okay, so what's going on is the counter, I think if we were to go uh, um, console.log is prime, and we did 977, I think we'd get true. Yeah, so 977 is a prime number, but we're not adding that. So I bet that uh, 977 minus, uh, plus this number would equal this number. The reason that we're having this problem is that the counter is stopping just prior to the number. So if we make the counter equal to the number, then we're gonna get 73156. So we were just missing the last prime number in the sequence. If we run the tests, we'll see that pass. Okay, cool. This is a, a really common um, computer science situation. Uh, there's a lot of cryptography. Uh, prime numbers are involved in a lot of crypt cryptographic work, things like that. So understanding this stuff can be really useful. Uh, there's a ton of different ways to do this. I'm sure this isn't the most efficient one. Uh, there's a lot of different ways that we could refactor this. Instead of using while loops, we could use other things. But uh, this is just a, a good way to move through this exercise. So hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.